Now we're going to look at some more complex examples of simplifying variables with exponents. And our first example, uh, the first thing we want to do is distribute the exponents. We're going to use the distributive property of exponents over multiplication. So that first one, 2x to the negative fifth, that quantity cubed would become 2 cubed times x to the negative fifth to the third, which would be x to the negative fifteenth. The second expression, x squared to the negative fourth, we would use the power to a power to multiply the exponents and get x to the negative eight. In the denominator, there's no simplifying to be done, so we're just going to rewrite it. From here, my suggestion is any base that has a negative exponent switch its location. So if there's a negative exponent in the numerator, it will be positive in the denominator. If there's a negative exponent in the denominator, it will be positive in the numerator. So basically everything switches except for the 2 cubed. The 2 cubed has a positive exponent, so we're going to leave it in the numerator. We're going to move the x to the 12th up, and down in the denominator will be x to the 15th times x to the 8th. Now what I would do is I would uh, look at the numerator uh, and simplify it, look at the denominator and simplify it, and then we'll look at numerator and denominator together. So in the numerator, the only thing I can do is 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. So it'd be 8x to the 12th. And then in the denominator, this is same base multiplication, so we'll add the exponents. That would be x to the 23rd. Now I have one more step because I have an x in the numerator and an x in the denominator. So we would use the uh, division same base division, although just to save a step, I usually will just say, okay, I have more uh, factors of x in the denominator. In fact, I have 11 more. So rather than having a negative 11 in the numerator, I can just preemptively say it'll be x to the 11th in the denominator, right? Because if we think about this, I could rewrite this as x to the 12th times x to the 11th, and then those would cancel, and that x to the 11th would still be in the denominator. 8 over x to the 11th would be our final answer for this example. In our next example, again, the first thing I want to do is remove the parentheses by using the distributive property or the power to a power. x to the negative third squared would be x to the negative sixth. Negative three, x squared all to the negative one. So that would be, that's not going to do anything to the negative. It'll be negative three to the negative one and then x to the negative two. I'm leaving the negative three inside parentheses just because it's a negative in the middle of a problem. And then x to the negative eight. It looks like every single term or every single factor does not want to be where it is. So every single factor is going to switch its location. So the x to the 8th will come up to the numerator and x to the 6th will be moved down. The negative 3 factor will move down and x squared will move down. Notice that the, uh, the exponents all change to positives, but the base itself, that negative 3 base, did not change. It remains negative, right? We're just, we're taking the base and we're moving it up or down so it would stay negative. Now let's clean up the denominator. So the numerator, we don't have to do anything. In the denominator I have, uh, well I'll put the negative 3 first and then I have x to the 8th. The x to the 8th actually end up canceling so we would be left with 1 over negative 3 which we might, might rewrite as negative 1 third. And that would be the final simplified version for letter B. Letter C, the first thing I want to do is the distributive property of exponents over multiplication. So in the numerator, I have one, two, three distinct bases. So I distribute the negative, the exponent of negative two, three times. That would be six to the negative two, x to the positive six, since negative three times negative two is positive six, and y to the tenth. In the denominator, I'm going to distribute that exponent of three, one, two, three times, because I have three unique bases. That would be 3 cubed, x to the negative 12th, and y to the negative 9th. Now anything that has a negative exponent, I'm going to switch its location. So the 6, will, uh, the six to the negative 2 will become 6 squared in the denominator. The 3 cubed is happy down there. The x to the 6th in the numerator was happy. y to the 10th was just fine. x to the 12th goes to the numerator, and y to the 9th goes to the numerator. So now all the variables are in the numerator and all of the number factors are in the denominator. So we have x to the 6th and x to the 12th. We have 18 factors of x in the numerator. y to the 10th and y to the 9th would give me uh, 19 factors of y in the numerator. 6 squared is 36 and 3 cubed is 27. 
this would be a good time to have a calculator handy. So if we rewrite it, it would be x to the 18th, y to the 19th, over 972. And that's as simplified as it can get. All the exponents are positive, so we're good and ready to move on. In our last example, we don't have any distribution. Um, let's see, we have a few negative exponents, so we'll switch those around. Negative 7 does not have a negative exponent, so it stays where it is. The w to the 4th will move up. v to the 6th stays where it is. 35 stays where it is. The w cubed would move down, and the v squared moves down. Now we're going to simplify the numbers. Remember with numbers like negative 7 over 35, these are normal numbers. We don't apply the properties of exponents to them, so we just think about what do 7 and 35 have in common. They have a common factor of 7. So we'll divide out the 7. I don't think I need to put the 1 in the numerator, but I do need to put the negative somewhere, so the negative. And then in the denominator, we'd have a factor of 5. Simplifying the w's, I have 4 factors of w in the numerator and 3 in the denominator. I would have 1 in the numerator. v to the 6th over v squared. I have 6 uh, factors of v in the numerator, 2 in the denominator. That would leave me with 4 in the numerator. So the final answer, we can put that negative and just pull it out in front. We would have wv to the 4th over 5 is our final answer.